All right, so we have been telling you about the surging temperatures. We've been talking about it all week here and the dangers that come with them, especially because this is a dry patch of weather. So wildfires right now are top of mind. Here to talk about that this morning for us, our state's commissioner of public lands, Hillary Franz. Commissioner, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, Commissioner, let's talk a little bit about wildfire season. What are your biggest concerns right now going into the season? Well, right now, we are already experiencing sort of the most significant amount of wildfires in Washington State history, and we're just in June. We are up 52% from 2020's number of fires. We all remember 2020 as being that horrific fire season. So we've been at almost 500 fires, and the drought isn't helping us at all. Well, I mean, when we, when we talk a little bit about dryness in our state, and of course, we're talking about this extreme heat headed our way as well. I mean, what would you say, what is the state of our state when it comes to wildfires? I know there's a little bit of preparation involved, and, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, areas are secure, forests are secure. What is the state of that right now? Yeah, so first I think it's important for people to realize that the drought is something that is facing a majority of our state, eastern Washington, southwest Washington, all the way up through the coastline. Um, that is an enormous amount of geography we have to cover, and that drought isn't looking like it's ending anytime soon, and we're just in June, and our season goes well into September. I think it's also important for people to realize that it's not just Washington State facing this drought. We are seeing an unprecedented drought in all the western states, Oregon, California, Montana, Arizona, New Mexico. That's putting a significant amount of strain on our fire resources. The firefighters are already up and running those fires or fighting those fires are getting exhausted and tired, but we still have three plus months left to go of fire season. And we're also seeing a decrease in the number of firefighters coming forward to fight fires. That is putting enormous amount of stress and pressure on the firefighters we have. Um, we are doing everything right now to be as prepared as possible for this fire season. One, we are increasing the number of air resources we're bringing in. We know that initial attack is key to getting on fires quickly and containing them. We're pre-positioning those air resources. We're also pre-positioning our equipment in those areas that we already are seeing a heightened number of fires, um, and we're only likely to continue to see those fires uh, in the east and west part of our state. So I, I, I want to ask you about something you just said there. Um, you just said there's a decrease in firefighters coming forward to fight wildfires. What exactly does that mean? I mean, are we in a shortage of uh, firefighters as we go into this wildfire season? Well, we all remember 2020. We found uh, last year during that firestorm of Labor Day, we had skeleton crews here on the ground in Washington State. And frankly, nationally, they were only we were limited in the number of firefighters and expertise in initial um, our, our um, incident management teams. Um, unfortunately, this year we're seeing already a decrease in the number of firefighters coming forward to sign up. At the same time, we're seeing an unprecedented number of fires across the western states. This is all concerning. It takes an enormous amount of work to train our firefighters and to get them ready. Many of our firefighters are seasonal firefighters coming forward. And unfortunately, many states like our own are challenged in getting those uh, people stepping up to fight fires. We're going to do everything we can. We know the federal government is bringing in more resources. Um, and based on what we experienced last year, based on these drought conditions, um, but we need, and this is the thing that's really important, because too often it feels like the people, our public, can't do anything to prevent these fires from coming. But the fact is, 80% plus of our fires are caused by humans. And we're seeing an unprecedented number of debris pile fires, again, just like last year. So we're urging people to take caution to please do everything not to start these fires. And for those 2 million plus homeowners that are in a wildland urban interface area at risk of wildfire, to please take steps now to make their homes um, more uh, resilient to fire, create that defensible space around their home. So, Commissioner, I've had you on before, and we've talked about this, that state lawmakers have voted recently to spend more money allocating money to prevent wildfires. And I mean, you've asked for that in the past, and it sounds like we are getting it. But you've also said recently that this won't help us this year. So is anything on our side for this wildfire season? So we first, it's absolutely uh, critical that we got this transformative and historical investment in wildfire response 
forest restoration and community resilience. It will help us change the trajectory we've been on five of the last six years. Unfortunately, those resources won't come until end of July, and then it takes time to go and actually get the contracts out for increased air resources, to be able to train those 100 new firefighters. Um, so much of that money and that investments won't be coming until next year in the context of wildfire response. Forest restoration, absolutely, we're getting to work. We'll be able to ramp that up uh, in late July and moving forward to the end of the season. Um, but the fact is, right now, we're doing everything we can with the resources we have um, and we're also reaching out to our federal agencies and partners to be able to have as much resources as we can in this state. Well, we appreciate you joining us, Commissioner. Thank you so much. And also for keeping us up to date on this wildfire season. We're all anticipating it and we're a little bit worried. So thank you for joining us here.